what we're doing here today is looking at the Campus Crossroads project. It's a $400 plus million dollar project to expand both the academic mission and the athletic mission of the university. Uh, with regards to lighting of the stadium, the original stadium was not lit. When it was renovated in the late 90s, we had an opportunity to add lighting with the uh, addition of a lot more games uh, late afternoon and evenings. So we had a long history with Musco and had worked with them on a lot of projects, a lot of our athletic fields. Uh, both outdoor and indoor uh, spaces are lit by their systems. So they had helped us put together a, a very unique package back in the late 90s. We're very much interested in uh, sustainability and being leading edge in technology. So we wanted to take that opportunity to look at LED lighting in this application. So we're very excited for what it can do for us and uh, the high level of performance that that system will provide. The project has gone very well to date. A significant number of the fixtures are already installed. We're down to the last fixtures in the four corner existing platforms from the previous design. Excited to see those go in. We are going to be using these lights in the fall of 2016. Even though the facility won't be completely finished for another year, the lights are going in early and will be part of next season's uh, games. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the LED light sources look like. Been very pleased with their performance and the other applications we've used them on campus and this should be certainly a showcase for us and for Musco. The relationship with Musco dates back to the early 1980s when Notre Dame played Michigan in a, a football game at night. And they brought in their portable lights very early in the company's career in portable lighting, I believe. Um, I came to the university in 1989, which was really about the time we did our first uh, permanent installation of field lighting, which was our baseball stadium. We've probably worked on 15 or 20 different projects from volleyball courts to basketball courts to the Joy Center Arena, which was one of the first indoor arenas done with LED, to our hockey facility um, and the stadium and beyond, as well as they've helped us light some of the iconic um, symbols of the university. We, we put LED lighting on the Word of Life mural for the library, and just recently we did the Golden Dome. Obviously, from a facility standpoint, uh, cost of total cost of ownership standpoint, LED lighting is very attractive to us, reduced maintenance, the support we get from Musco and the uh, ability to operate the systems remotely um, have been wonderful. The applications on our phones has made it easier for our customers on campus to control their own spaces, yet allowing us to monitor what they do and kind of override things when we need to. We've worked with Musco. I think we found them to be a very innovative group. They've uh, applied technology and engineering at a standard above their competitors. Uh, as is obvious by us doing things besides just athletic lighting, they have the technical ability to light all kinds of different things, um, and it's been an interesting uh, relationship, uh, a partnership that's been very successful, I think, for both parties. And uh, the performance of their, their products have been outstanding. I, I would say it's obvious from our experience over the last 25 years with Musco that we see them as the premier provider in their market, and um, don't have a lot of experience with anybody else because we haven't found anybody that meets up to their standard of performance and support both uh, during the construction phase but also after when the product's installed. Uh, they're also helpful in us in the early stages of planning and design of our projects. I would say our relationship with Musco is one that we cherish. Uh, we have a number of, a short list of manufacturers that we have very close relationships with and they would certainly be at the top of that list.